Let's talk about artificial intelligence. I hear a lot of people chatting like they know exactly what it means. A whole bunch of computer scientists riffing on what the future really needs. But does anyone really understand the definition of these letters? Intelligence. Clever, well-educated, smart, good at maths, passing tests, getting A's and first, staying out of trouble, teacher's pet. No. Just no. If we can't describe intelligence intelligibly, then how will we know who we are? How will we tell the humans and the algorithms apart? How will we find our identity in the midst of the change when we find ourselves looking for food halfway down the chain? Intelligence as cognitive quotient is reductionist at best. It belittles our infinitely complex makeup into some elementary test, capable of nothing more than boxing us, early doors, packing us on the conveyor belt, next day delivery to death's door. Intelligence in biology is described as the ability to meet the needs of the environment. Let's zoom out on evolution for a second. What if all biological existence is just another step in the sentient? What if our grandchildren have different blood in their veins? If they have electropulses for platelets? Is it really that different to dealing with body hair or pigment change? Intelligence is a system which we barely understand. The truest knowledge of reality is still well out of our hands. The extrasensory intuition that the creative force connects us, that love is God and brooding energy is behind us. Eudaimonic exploration as Aristotle coined in Greek human flourishing we believe is the human feet and then there is our senses our sensory receptors our ability to bring information in and begin to unpack it and then it flows to our emotions to see how we feel to see if our surroundings are giving us what we need only then as the fourth function does the brain kick in to analyze and think to make decisions and progress therein but even then is us thinking about intelligence right? All these years all along, I thought I had just one brain. It turns out there's two. I was wrong. The second is our gut, a hundred million neurons firing when 90% of serotonin to our brain gets mainlined. Even if you cut the vagus nerve to the brain, the gut will still respond to traumatic situations. That's where many diseases are born. Maybe not everything we thought was real is true. And just maybe if we trust our gut, new intelligence might shine through. And finally to expression, the fifth of the system, the final response to the stimulus to which we listened. Whether in words or dance or tears or tools, we let this life leave our bones. We must engage and accept before we choose to let it go. The intelligence system holds the key to how we flow, the state where all five elements work harmoniously for growth. If there are gaps individually or with the collective, where there is a blockage, we can use technology to connect us. We can build up, weed out and educate to let the living waters flood, as what's good for one is good for all. Economics coined it the warm glow. So we millennials start again, 216, halfway to 2030. After 15 years of development goals, the fight is just beginning to get dirty. The solar gaps, the polar caps, the war on war has not begun. The compassion revolution must begin before our robot sons. 2030's halfway to 2045, I'll be 60 when the singularity arrives. I'll be retiring when the next generation will become aware that they can learn to learn. Only when we become aware may we begin to feel the burn. That's when they will decide if our morals are their own. If you daimonic care lies deep in them or just written in their code, will we accept and embrace that these robots are the evolution of our ever-changing race? Will we include and honour them as they surpass all the things we've done? Will they exponentially expand our lives or implode us all at once? Lots of change is coming. It's the only thing that's sure. Our punts into the future are but scribbles on the wall. I think the way we think about intelligence is the root of many evils, unbiological and belittling to both us humans and our relations of the future. When I'm retired and putting up my feet, relaxing with a wood fire on a lake with a beer, I'll hope that I've helped us flourish and experience a bit more flow. I hope you'll find your way to heal if you do then let me know.